Let's go to meteorologist Davis Nolan. He's joining me now in studio as well to show us exactly what we can expect that day. It's getting really close, Davis. Yeah, it is, Mark, and it's going to be a partial eclipse for us. But guess what? Up to 90 to 95 percent of the sun is going to be eclipsed here in Middle Tennessee. So we won't go totality, as they call it, like we did last time, but it's going to be awfully close. Now, you'll need those eclipse glasses. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Now, the total eclipse will be from Texas to parts of Arkansas, southeast Missouri, Illinois, and to parts of Indiana. And that's not too far of a drive away for many of us to go to. And you could go to some place like Poplar Bluff, Missouri, Carbondale, Illinois, Little Rock, Arkansas, places like that to see it. And it's not too far of a drive. Generally, it may be a two to at most four hour drive to get to the totality. Now, if you're staying at home, we're still going to have quite a show on our hands, but you need those eclipse glasses. I want you to go to WKRN.com. I'm going to link you to this website, which is a company out of Memphis that makes these eclipse glasses. They're NASA approved, ISO approved, and 10% of their sales goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So you want to go to WKRN.com, look for this story. It'll link you to how to get those eclipse glasses coming up two Mondays from now. Back to you, Mark.